There's no Peter Parker or Miles Morales in the trailer for Madam Web, but plenty of other spider people appear. Who are they and how close are their costumes to their comics counterparts? Fans of Sony's Spider-Man universe have had to do some waiting this year, as the release date for Kraven the Hunter was pushed back from October 2023 to August 2024. But they at least got the trailer for Madame Web, yet another adaptation of a classic Spider-Man character from the studio. The 2024 feature will star Dakota Johnson as a clairvoyant title character. It seems as though she'll find herself protecting a new generation of spider heroes in three young women. Julia Carpenter, played by Sidney Sweeney, Matty Franklin, played by Celeste O'Connor, and Anya Corazon, played by Isabella Merced. I can see the future. Oh, what the hell? She didn't see that coming? That's <laughs> not how it works. Perhaps due to their connection to one another and the wider web of spider people, these soon-to-be spider women must survive being hunted by Ezekiel Sims, a deadly operator with as of yet unknown motivations, played by Tahir Rahim. Ezekiel Sims has the odd spider out in the trailer, and that's not just because he's trying to kill everyone else. The character wears a chilling black and red suit that is a far cry from the character's comics attire. In the comics, Sims has powers almost identical to those of Peter Parker, but received them long before as part of an ancient ritual. Instead of becoming a superhero, he became an immensely powerful businessman who would use his powers sparingly. So the comics version of Ezekiel doesn't really have a costume in the traditional sense. In one alternate universe, Sim steals a costume from a variant of Spider-Man that was killed by Morlin, one of the inheritors who is basically an energy vampire. Ezekiel's typical comics apparel doesn't appear to have influenced his Madame Web look, probably at least in part due to a casually dressed villain cutting in on action figure sales. Euphoria star Sidney Sweeney will make her superhero debut with Madame Web, playing the seemingly bookish Julia Carpenter. In the comics, she has adopted the moniker Spider-Woman, Arachne, and even Madame Web, all after someone else had those names. It appears as though Sweeney will be sporting the original black and white bodysuit Carpenter wore when she first debuted in the first Secret Wars series in 1984. The design of this costume, especially its sprawling white insignia, will likely remind fans of another character, Venom. Unlike Peter Parker's symbiote suit that became Venom, there's nothing alien about Carpenter's outfit. Carpenter's suit actually debuted the issue before Parker's did, and it stated that the now iconic white symbiote spider symbol was subconsciously inspired by her design. It would be a clever twist if Sony adapted this story beat and allowed Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock to finally adopt the emblem after seeing Sweeney's Carpenter in action. Why would I do that? Anya Corazon was first introduced in a 2004 issue of Amazing Fantasy as the superhero Aranya. She has two main comics costume styles, one of which includes the large bug-eyed goggles seen for a brief moment in the trailer. Her first costume is a relatively casual tactical outfit that consists of a vest, tank top, and jeans, all of which fit a red, black, and yellow color motif. After meeting Julia Carpenter, Corazon is given a black bodysuit with white accents very similar to her new friends. Under the new alias, Spider-Girl, Corazon wears his black and white suit through several minor alterations until it is destroyed by the supervillain Vermin, at which point she returns to something closer to her original look. Based on the very brief look at Corazon's costume in the Madame Web trailer, it appears as though she'll be wearing something closer to her second costume, but with goggles from the first. Unlike her friend's black costumes, Matty Franklin wears the traditional blue and red colors of Peter Parker's Spider-Man. That may be a nod to her uniquely close comics connection to the original Web Slinger. After getting superpowers and the mystical Gathering of Five ceremony organized by Norman Osborn, Matty briefly took over for Peter as Spider-Man while he was temporarily retired. After Peter put the webs back on, she became the third Spider-Woman. Her infatuation with Peter created some bizarre friction between them, though we don't expect that to play into her role in Madame Web. That's because lots of signs point to Madame Web being a prequel of sorts. A popular theory online speculates, and his IMDb credits indicate, that Adam Scott's suspiciously named character is actually a young Ben Parker, Peter's uncle, who dies in most versions of his origin story. But that'd mean Madame Web takes place well before any other Spider-Man story and Franklin couldn't have any connection to the most famous wall crawler around. Fans will have to wait to see when Madame Web debuts on February 14, 2024.